Alright, a new version of Wimpon has just been released. You can get the uh, new download from our website, iPodTouch.net. In this video, I'll be going over some of the updates that have been made to uh, Winpwn. Um, if you have already pwned your iPod or iPhone, you don't need to pwn it again. But if you haven't, I'll uh, post the links in this video on how to pwn it. I'm not going to go through that in this video. I want to focus on just the uh, upgrades that have been made. First thing is browse your, uh, for your uh, IPSW. Select your uh, firmware, 1.4 firmware. Uh, if you're on an iPod, make sure you select an iPod firmware. The downloaded iPod firmware. If you're on an iPhone, same thing. Um, after you do that, make sure your iPod's connected. Uh, mine is. At this point, you want to click on IPSW Builder. Okay, sometimes it doesn't maximize. As you can see down here, it's running. Um, I'm on Vista. I don't know if this is a little Vista bug or whatever. But if you uh, right click, go to Task Manager, select IPSW, and then right click that, and just click on Maximize. Close that back up. Alright, as you can see, this is a new feature that's been brought to this version. Um, you can now select different applications that you want to be added to your custom firmware. Um, you can add all your sources here. All you need to do is just type it in and click Add Source. Um, but this over here is pretty much just like in installer itself. Um, first thing, make sure you go to System and Select Installer. Just double click. And you'll download it and add it. Um, because with that installer, pretty much up a creek. But after you select that, you can go ahead and select what other any other package you'd like to add to your custom firmware. So this way whenever you restore to that firmware you'll have these applications already on your iPod or iPhone. Um, so just add whatever you want. I'll just add a couple just to show you. Do some reward. As you can see down here there is a limit to how many uh, applications you can add but it's a good amount. Um, so after you're done selecting all the applications you want to add, at that point you can go to custom images. If you select use custom image, uh, another new feature you added to this is the search online where you have 62 right now different images you can select. So you need to go through here and just after you find one that you'd like, all you need to do is just uh, double click it and it'll download it and then add it. Um, you can also, if you go to my website, iPodTouch.net, if you click on boot logos, uh, I have a pretty good selection of custom images you can use as well. They're always adding more as people submit theirs. Um, so if you just left click on it, bring it a new window, right click, save image as, and just save it to wherever you'd like. So now if you go back to the builder, if you go to uh, either boot image or or logo, restore logo, if you click on that, then you can select that image you just downloaded, just like before. So after you got your application selected, your images selected, at this point you just click uh, build I excuse me, build IPSW and just save it to wherever you'd like. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Yes, replace my old one. Um, another improvement, I guess you can call it that was made to this version is the speed of the actual building of the firmware. Um, before it would take roughly or somewhere around 15 minutes or so um, for most people. Uh, people with slower computers it would take close to an hour some people were reporting in about 45 minutes. But this will cut down that time at least in half. Um, I didn't time it the first time I built the firmware but I think it took somewhere around uh, three to four minutes. Um, so it's about a quarter of the time that it used to take, so it's a lot faster. So now if you, you know, you find different images that you want to use as your boot logos, um, it'll be a lot quicker to uh, recreate or to, you know, build your new firmware. So it won't be such a daunting task, especially for y'all, for some of those who 
were saying that it would take you know close to 45 minutes to build a firmware. Uh, this will cut it down at least in half, probably down, you know, take a quarter of the time that it used to. Um, but those are the three major improvements that were made were the ability to select the applications um, and also now this little search online for custom images. And the third improvement was just the speed. I mean, the speed has improved greatly. Um, if you go back and click on the actual WinPome program, you can see what it's doing exactly as it goes through the process. Um, it looks like it should be finishing up here pretty soon. Um, but those are the, like I said, the three improvements that have been made. Uh, this still isn't the official release, but this is pretty close to the to the uh, official release. As you can see, it's successfully created the firmware. So now at this point, all you would need to do is just go into iTunes, hold down your shift key, click restore, and then select that custom firmware you just made. Um, but there you have it, the uh, new version of uh, WinPo.